Hello and welcome to another Trigger tutorial. This tutorial will cover the Y database functionality of Y search. The Y search normally allows you to find all newly created units and provide an interaction at the point of creation. The Y database feature allows you to store these units and search them at a later time as many times as you wish. We're going to use this functionality to do two interesting effects. I'm going to show you the first one with the priest and explain how it works. And we so this priest I is air. going to build some obelisks are you are you are you are going to use to defend against the Anubites. Great. You are As the Anubites are come, you are they're taking are damage, you the, are the, are the obelisks are flashing, are and an interesting writing effect gets created. Let's have a look and see how that is done. So if we go into the triggers and have a look at the search, we've got the start search as per usual, and then we're going to condition, this isn't for the other effects, so we'll just skip that for the second part, uh, here, we're going to condition that it is an outpost, an outpost is an obelisk, it's just the editor name for it, and here we're simply going to add it to the database of outposts, and then we're going to end the effect. The outpost is then searched every second, which we've got a timer of, and this will find all currently built outposts to apply the effect to them. So here we're going to check if there is a unit in the area. If so, we're going to damage it by a small amount and highlight the outpost, as well as create an Osiris box glow at the location. This will repeat every second for all outposts that are currently there. Now, you might ask what happens when you add a unit into the database and then that unit dies or gets defeated? Well, what happens is if the game can't detect the unit in any state, then it is automatically removed from the game. You don't need to worry about it. However, in this case, it will still trigger if the obelisk is currently dying but hasn't actually been hasn't disappeared from the game. Right, the second example we have here is some archers. And these archers are going to fire upon these units and something interesting is going to happen. So let's see what that is. Burek, Shkopos? Lost. So we move along Mark. and we're going to fight. Oh, oh, boom! Oh. Oh. We now have oh, okay. super archers with oh, extra explosive oh, effects. Oh. Lost. Mark. Let's see how we did this. So we go back to the search, and here we're checking if the arrow is of arrow flaming, which is what the archers produce. And similar to before, we're just adding to the database and adding the condition. In the arrows effect, we have this on a tight loop we want it to be accurate searching and here we're just checking similarly to before if there is a unit in a small radius if so we change the meter impact ground deal some damage and here we remove the arrow from the database what this means is that this will only activate for each arrow once once the arrow is activated it will not activate again this allows it to be used only a single time Yes, the arrows would get removed automatically once they disappear from the game, but as I mentioned, we just want it to happen once. So, in summary, databases allow you to store found units and search them again at a later time as many times as you'd like and apply lots of cool, interesting effects. I hope you found this useful and keep a lookout for more tutorials and have a great day!